In the desert, China wants to grow aquaculture. To finish it will cost $720 million. It seems improbable that the idea will succeed. The desert is seen as a place where life is prohibited. The typical summertime temperature ranges from 45 to 70 degrees Celsius. The majority of fish fear hot temperatures. The fish will choke to death as a result of the water's reduced oxygen concentration brought on by high temperatures. But this time, China has worked a miracle in the desert. The aquaculture sector has not only grown extremely successfully, but it has also transformed the region's parched desert into an oasis and its most notable tourist destination. How, therefore, did China prosper? China now has the most number of desert regions in the world, but it also has the best regulation of those areas. In China, it took tens of thousands of people 50 years to turn a sizable desert from an empty, strictly banned place to a verdant oasis. China has effectively managed more than 8,000 square kilometers of desert, according to government records. They continue to actively pursue agricultural and animal husbandry in the desert, where they cultivate rice and graze, a significant number of cattle and sheep. Desert control success has mostly resolved the problem. Millions of pastoralists who lived close to the desert were impacted in terms of their way of life. China can undoubtedly accomplish more in the desert. China said in 2006 that it will establish fish aquaculture in the desert. The desert in Gansu was chosen as the venue. This desert is remote, highly dry, and covered in yellow sand all year long. You can nevertheless understand how challenging this project is. How many times China has actually failed at this project? In 2007, China moved water from nearby communities into the desert after converting 1,200 mu of desert into a breeding base. There is no question that this will take a lot of time and money. Road building requires a significant financial investment. In the first trial, the water resources issue was resolved. They considered tilapia to be a fish with great vigor. In the end, however, 30,000 fry were produced for the first time due to the extreme temperature in the desert and lack of prior experience doing so. The first desert breeding attempt in China was a failure since everyone perished, losing $20 million outright. After this failure, they started investigating the cause and acquired a ton of knowledge about foreign nations' desert fish farming technologies. In truth, there is nothing particularly novel about desert fish growing abroad, and several nations have already taken on this initiative. For instance, Algeria produces 100,000 tons of aquaculture annually in the Sahara Desert, and successful desert aquaculture farms have also been established in Israel, the United States, Mexico, and the Middle East. These nations have extensive expertise in growing fish in the desert. China made the decision to enlist the help of Israeli and Algerian specialists in 2008. According to experts, China's prior failures were due not only to a lack of advanced technology, but also to the issue of fish fry and water supplies. Chinese fish cannot live in this desert for more than 10 days, according to hundreds of professional tests. Only the exotic, unusual rainbow trout species are best suited for this area. Native to the Pacific Ocean in North America, rainbow trout. Its flesh is delicious. Its worth is substantially higher than that of tilapia, and its capacity to survive is quite robust. In this desert, surviving is not at all difficult. The original Chinese difficulty of transferring water from the desert with the assistance of international specialists was resolved when experts found that there is a glacier on the border of the desert that may redirect water to the desert once the iceberg melts. This created a cold water fish industry belt. The aquaculture sector in China's desert has made its first stride toward development. In less than two years, roads will be constructed for the desert while aquaculture is being developed there. The aquaculture has shown clear results, earning a $20 million profit. They also encourage the people close to the desert to grow the aquaculture sector at the same time. Since then, rainbow trout have made this desert renowned. Experts from the two nations praised China's capacity for endurance and learning. They have perfected the art of rearing fish in the desert in a matter of short years. China's confidence grew significantly in 2012, and it made the decision to expand the rainbow trout farming sector by 10 times and introduce 600,000 fry in an effort to access new water sources. They started to construct bases and create river courses. But what I didn't anticipate was that the flood that occurred in the desert where it traveled this year was a once-in-a-century event. 600,000 fish fry were carried away together with the water diversion project, freshly constructed diversion canals, and fish ponds in the industrial park. China sustained significant losses this time. You could ask a question at some point. China has a huge land mass. 
Why does it feel the need to cultivate aquaculture in the desert? In actuality, this relates to China's requirements. China aspires to fulfill the daily fish consumption aspiration of those living close to arid areas. Second, the world fisheries is in decline, and all nations are searching for alternative aquaculture routes as a result of climate change, marine environment degradation, and human demand for fishing. In China, the same is accurate. One of the causes of the unsustainable expansion of fishery resources is the issue of overfishing in China's fisheries. The estimated yearly catch in Chinese seas is 9 million tons, while the actual capture is more than 13 million tons. With 1.4 billion people, China has a demand for seafood that surpasses 65 million tons annually. Due to overfishing, China now faces a fish deficit and must import at least 100,000 tons of fish from other nations each year. China is eager to advance aquaculture as a result. Fortunately, even though the flood killed 600,000 fry, it also accidentally produced a desert oasis. China learned that sand control is necessary if it wishes to grow aquaculture in the desert. In the meanwhile, no industry can be discussed without a proper ecological environment. After a flood, the desert remains moist, which is ideal for growing plants to withstand future floods. In the desert, they also construct dikes. This massive project took an additional three years to complete and cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Using the water that was diverted, Tens of thousands of acres of trees have been successfully preserved and a unique oasis in the desert that was formerly covered in yellow sand for centuries now exists there. China split the evolution of desert fish aquaculture this time into three phases. The first step is to construct an open air fish farming pond. In the second step, fish farming water sources are sealed off using a semi-closed circulation system, utilizing designed circulating water for completely enclosed fish aquaculture is the third step. These are all cutting edge accomplishments of aquaculture in Israel using water treatment as the underlying technology. China's desert fish farming technique is currently effective in 2020. China will integrate fish farming with desert agriculture to facilitate the long-term growth of desert fish farms. China is still able to irrigate fields while raising fish nowadays. They produce two tons of potatoes a year in the desert. In the desert, vineyards and diverse organic foods have been produced to allow visitors from far away to take in the distinctive desert environment and taste the delectable fish. They have also expanded tourism in the desert. Since the area's tourism industry has grown, tens of thousands of visitors come here each year to take in the scenery and take part in desert control activities, giving the area a vibrant energy. Any job is difficult to complete in the desert. This time, China has performed a miracle in the desert. Additionally, we anticipate that more deserts will transform into oases like this one. Subscribe to this channel to watch all the secret news one of the first